Good day again everyone, welcome to Ethereum Physics. Today we look at another experiment which is refraction through a rectangular glass block. Be sure to pause the video to note the steps and precautions involved in this experiment. Do ensure to use the protractor to measure all angles and normals involved. Make sure that your pencil is sharpened for a thin point if you are not using a mechanical pencil. Ensure that all pins used are straight or not bent. This may cause parallax error in looking through the glass block. Cover one eye and look through the glass block at eye level, ensuring that you first see two pins within the glass block. Move across the glass block until you see that one pin completely conceals the other. It must look as if it's one pin only through your glass block. Place one other pin in front of the two pins that you see so that even though three pins are on the board, it looks as if you are looking at one pin through your glass block. Again, place another optical pin in front of the pin that you had just placed. Even though four pins are on the board, it should look as if you are looking at a single pin only through your glass block. Remove the optical pins at the bottom and draw a line through those pin holes connecting to the base of the glass block outline. While the ray on top drawn is the incident ray, this ray that you had just drawn is the emergent ray. At the point where the emergent ray meets the glass block, use your protractor and draw in normal. The angle between this emergent ray and the normal is called the emergent angle and it must be equal to the incident angle. However, you are allowed an error of plus or minus 1 degree. Connect the intersecting point between the two numbers within the glass block outline.
This re is called the refracted re within the glass block. Be sure to include the direction in each of your rays in which the rays of light will have traveled to reach your eye, which is towards the base of the glass block. The angles run between the refracted ray and each normal are refracted angles, and they form alternate angles with each of the respective normals. The refracted angle within the glass block will be less than the incident angle that we had started with. From the normal at the top measure 20 degrees, we are going to repeat the procedure that we had just done. The same procedure will be used for angles 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 and 80 degrees, all of which are incident angles from the normal at the top. You can record all angles of incidence and refraction in a table that will be shown at the end of this video. You will notice that each emergent ray forms a new normal at the base of the glass block outline. Do draw your normals short as possible at the bottom so that they do not intersect with your rays that you are drawing.
Notice that the angles of refraction are taken from the bottom normal since they can be easily measured using a protractor. As you proceed, please include your angles for each ray of light drawn. Ensure that all normals are clearly seen and labeled, and all rays of light and angles are also seen. The direction in which of your rays of light should be also seen.
complete your table of results with two additional columns label sign of the angle of incidence sign of the angle of refraction sign i and sign r respectively tune into the next video to see how to photograph and what the results yield